Today we'll focus on the brand new S8. We come into the first of many lounging areas on this spectacular model. As you can see, we have an undercover cockpit lounging dining with the feature of this table opening and becomes exactly double the size that you see arriving to this area where you can see the 10 people comfortably dining al fresco under the roof. Of course, uh, on the port side here, you have your alfresco bar, can be equipped with a barbecue in the cockpit. In this uh, model uh, edition, uh, uh, been uh, put on the flybridge. And of course, you have your ice maker and refrigerator in this uh, outdoor uh, kitchen. So, huge sunbathing area, foldable backrest, of course. The features that I would like to sometimes highlight is the amount of actual storage that we are providing on all these new models. So if you look at this, this entire area is complete storage. Now all the covers uh, and all the extra equipment is placed in this storage. can be cleaning product, fenders, and you name it. Same is for under this seat. Is, uh, this seat is all storage and is a perfect location where you can store the carbon fiber poles which actually are inserted into this hole and through that slide there is an awning and we connect to two carbon fiber pole and uh, into that little slide which is almost invisible and uh, create uh, shade all the way back and can be stored here in, uh, in this location. This is a, a brand new Alberto Mancini exterior design and uh, instead we feature a Francesco Guida interior design. They're both uh, uh, incredible talents in the uh, world of architecture and of course they have been scouted by Azimut Yachts and uh, we have been working with them to create uh, this incredible beauty. So you have a one level salon, please note no steps. So once you get into the cockpit all the way approaching the stairs for the lower helm there is not a single step. So it's all one level and uh, as you can see the most uh, refined Italian uh, design, different uh, material from lacquer to very materic uh, natural wood to 100% gloss mahogany uh, wood here. So the combination of the material is uh, selected by the designer and uh, connected together in this uh, beautiful flow. You have two, two opposing uh, sofas and uh, TV comes out from this uh, compartment and so when you don't watch TV you enjoy the beautiful view of the panoramic window and when you watch TV a 55 inch TV will, comes, uh, will come out electric, uh, electrically from, from that high low. Now moving towards the bow this is a very interesting feature because it's another interior this time full bar. So you have your sink which once is not in use is covered to be pretty and not invasive, but uh, very clever, you know, faucets and selection of accessories. And in this cabinet, you have uh, another ice maker and another refrigerator. You have a plenty of storage, and this is actually all cabinetry for your china, convenient, conveniently located next to the dining and bar and on that cabinet right there you have storage and uh, your rest of china and part of your audio video compartment i will show you the audio video rack because it's uh, spectacular it shows actually on the technical side uh, the level of the quality of execution so getting into the helm this boat is powered by triple ips 1350 volvo penta and uh, we have, uh, um, of course, we did uh, the electronic package from Garmin because of the relationship uh, developed between Volvo Penta and Garmin. So the communication between the engines and the electronic package is seamless, meaning that you don't need to have redundant displays 
uh, to show engine data. So all the engine data, including pop-ups, messages, alarm, is all shown on the Garmin uh, electronics package. So to create uh, this incredibly clean and flush and smooth helm station, as you can see, you have your 316 inches uh, Garmin, uh, few very sleek stainless steel push buttons and then everything else is a beautiful clean organized you have your levers and everything comes from the same package so also from a service standpoint we are buying the package from Volvo Penta which include of course the propulsion in the engine room but also the levers to control the engines the joysticks and the electronic package so in case of need of service maintenance tomorrow you know you your point of reference is only one Volvo Penta the Volvo Penta dealer network and is connected to Garmin and is a basically a one-stop shop which for us is, a, is extremely important. So approaching the lower deck we feature uh, here a model with uh, a, 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 the, the galley is located actually what we call mid deck so it's on the way to the lower deck but also on the way to the main deck and is a, a you know a full-size galley which can be separated if uh, the one B or somebody is cooking something uh, which might be smelly, uh, you know, can be separated if wanted. And if not, uh, is uh, uh, still part of the social area of the boat. A very cool feature, actually, let me show you, is this, what we call cantinetta or little cellar, because this is an amazing storage unit. So imagine all your uh, cans and uh, pasta and Coca-Cola uh, boxes and uh, paper towels and so on and so forth. There's room for everything as well as your 24 bottles wine cooler right there. So that's why we call it the, the cellar. Of course, a full-size refrigerator, freezer, every appliance uh, is a Miele, so the best. Um, synthetic countertop, which look like a natural stone and uh, has all the uh, feel and look of the natural stone, but is uh, fully resistant to any, uh, any, any fluid, anything that in a galley can damage countertop, so citrus is for to begin with, but anything else. So you have the natural look, but the composite uh, resistance. Going into the lower deck, uh, I would say probably makes sense to approach the master, which is uh, of course a full beam. And um, actually here I want to show you, as I said, the, the audio video rack. So just to give an idea of the quality of execution also backstage. So this is a very technical closet and you can tell uh, how, uh, you know, the quality of execution and the wiring and the components. And of course the rack slides out in case of service and the lock there. So um, we have uh, the master here. As I said, the full beam, of course, we didn't see the bathroom. Um, Again, the decor and the design, look at the way the materials uh, have been put together, the luxury of uh, uh, the details. Uh, for instance, this uh, uh, inlay here, these are not air conditioning vents, they don't really serve a purpose, it's really just a design feature, which of course uh, you know, talks about how complex the woodwork uh, on the boat is. Uh, here, these lights seem to give a, a very beautiful, I don't know if you see it on the camera, but it, you can tell exactly the grain and the quality of the, of the natural wood with the 100% glass finish. You have this beautiful glass insert, which again, are design feature, these two columns. There's one on each side to frame, uh, you know, the, the, the main bulkhead. And of course, the TV is a 55 inches behind this uh, uh, mirror. So when the TV is off, you don't see the ugly appliance, but you see a beautiful mirror, which actually can also have a, a function. You can mirror yourself if the need be. And the sound bar, of course, installed in a very sleek design. Uh, and also I would like to focus on the lighting. Look at the beauty of every single lighting accent. Every light is uh, a design piece. This is not spotlights. Uh, you know, place on a ceiling, but every look at look at the, the job we have done with lighting because it's, uh, it's really need to be appreciated, including this little uh, you know night light. Every every light fi fixture is a design piece from a major Italian brand, uh, Artemide, Floss. Uh, I mean, all all the lighting has uh, a lot of research. This is actually obviously natural stone, so this is real marble. 
we don't need uh, to have the resistance that is required in the galley. And of course the same insert is in the shower, which otherwise is covered in this uh, modern uh, metallic look uh, synthetic material. Very sleek uh, floor of the shower. And uh, another feature of the master which uh, is often enjoyed is a uh, uh, walk-in closet which is uh, actually worth looking because a lot of space for hanging uh, your clothing as well as drawers and shelves. And what we like uh, to provide also on every area is an immense amount of storage under every bed. So I will show you this in the master. The same happens in every other cabin. We will not go through it. But this gives you an idea of uh, the clever usage of space. So every single cubic inch of volume that we have on boats, we use it to provide either a technical feature like that vanity that we're going to take a look at or storage space. So look at this beautiful piece of art. So you have this boutique chair with your shelf, the mirror, your makeup can stay here. And uh, in, in case instead uh, uh, a, a guy would like to use it to, to you know, work on the computer, of course there is an electric uh, socket right there and you sit here. The blinds in the master are um, electric. They are operated by remote control. And so once you sit in this position, you have the beautiful view of the full size window. Moving forward, this is actually the only head which is a shared, meaning that works as a day head as well as the starboard cabin head. Enclosed shower, beautiful size, full size toilet, and there's a double access as access from this hallway, so it can be used as a day head by guests on board, which are not necessarily sleeping on board, but also serve as a head for actually this cabin. Each of the two guest cabins uh, um, comes with the, uh, you know, a, what we call a Pullman bed. So this area right here, you see this handle, you just press the button, pull the handle, and this bed comes down. So each of the two guest cabins offer three beds, so potentially the, sleep, the, the boat sleeps 10 people, very comfortable. Going forward, we're approaching the bow. We enter the second guest cabin again pullman bed and suite bathroom in this case now shared and close the shower natural stone natural wood ample storage uh, under each of the bed as well as uh, you know your hanging closet with shelves sorry now it's full of bushel decoration material but gives you an idea of the volume so and, uh, and here we approach the VIP. VIP is extremely generous in terms of size and more so uh, beam. Uh, thanks to uh, you know, the very generous bows of uh, the Azimut Yachts product. And in this uh, particular cabin, we have been able to reach a height of the bed, which uh, is uh, interesting because uh, typically on boats uh, is challenging to have beds at the residential height. They are all uh, higher and uh, so instead, uh, given, to, given the height of, the, of this model, we have been able to place the bed at the height that you have uh, in your home. So you don't feel that climbing onto the bed, but just actually, uh, you know, you face the bed. That is the residential height. Of course, you have ample storage on both sides with hanging closet. Storage is everywhere, as I said. So under the bed, there's an immense amount of storage. You have storage on both sides. It's actually very deep. And, uh, uh, closet on both sides and of course uh, here you have an ensuite bathroom which uh, is larger than, uh, than uh, the two guests with a full enclosed shower and natural stone. I can also take a look at the, uh, at the quality and design of the accessories, the installation. It seems to be uh, a minor, minor, minor detail but you know it's, it's, it's everything flows and creates the design, every single detail. So again, TV is under the mirror in every cabin. So the sidewalking are extremely wide, comfortable and more so cover. So imagine when 
there's weather. You know, look at the, the size of the sidewalk. I don't even have to adjust. And look at the details. This is all the carbon fiber support. This boat feature a GRP hull and a, G, and a carbon fiber superstructure. And we wanted to show it in places where uh, serves a, fu a function, but also looks cool and good. Who, who doesn't like to pass by here and look at this beautiful 100% glass carbon fiber polished piece. So this uh, uh, is an appreciation. And look at these uh, floor to ceiling windows. This is the new uh, Alberto Mancini design. The new is bringing the S to even more glass, more window. So this is completely floor to ceiling, all the way basically to the helm. And this is uh, where the S8 really create uh, an incredible scenario. Imagine you see that those uh, pop-up lights with LED. Imagine we were here actually last night. So at night there is lighting, there is music, there is beautiful ambient. And this is again another area. Those receivers that you see there, that disc uh, semi-open, those are designed to host the four carbon fiber poles and, uh, and of course an awning. And two additional poles can be installed in those receivers there for another awning. So the entire area can be either under the sun, under the shade, or half under the sun and half under the shade. So this typically would be more your sunbathing area, but if want to be, another set of carbon fiber pole uh, is uh, available and uh, with a dedicated awning. Look at this beautiful sofa, the carbon fiber table. This is gray carbon fiber, same material as the table in the cockpit, as light as it can be. And again, ample storage under each of the two wings of the sofa, you have storage for the covers or drinks, what the need would be. And the reclinable backrest, of course. Uh, again, we were here last night uh, uh, with a customer and uh, it was eight of us uh, sitting here. We had an hour of conversation, it was four of us uh, sitting actually on this side and four on that side and, and still we were filling with tons of room. This is the escape hatch from the VIP cabin. Hopefully it will never be needed, but it's there. So from the VIP cabin, there's two handles, opens and you can come out in case of need. Of course, this is maneuvering area. Your, this is a good view of your open, openable sunroof, which comes with an internal shade, of course, in, inside. And uh, so if you don't want the sunlight, it's too hot, then there's an internal uh, fabric shade. Otherwise, you can open the sunroof, all hydraulic operated. And uh, I think we should take a look at the flybridge, because despite this being uh, uh, a model of our S collection, it has uh, big enough to feature a flybridge, actually a real flybridge. I wouldn't even call it a technical flybridge or a maneuvering flybridge. You will see. This flybridge offers all the feature of uh, a flybridge with general sizes, despite being on an S model. As you can see, another bar area, now with the barbecue that I mentioned before, the sink, another ice maker, and another refrigerator. Storage on this side, trash. This is, this is a, a very comprehensive flybridge despite being on an S uh, collection product. Uh, as you can see, the owner can be driving the boat with his uh, wife uh, or significant other beside him and uh, again the rest uh, of the family and friends are still hanging out in the same area so you're not isolated uh, driving the boat but you have an area where you can feel comfortable being on the outside you see better you hear better you see where you're going better sometimes we are more comfortable driving a boat especially of this size from the flybridge uh, but uh, typically s models are a little bit more sacrificed in terms of uh, space and people you can have around you. The S8 offer plenty of space to have plenty of friends. Actually, if you turn around, right behind the helm station, you now have uh, a full uh, C-shaped uh, uh, sofa with a high-low table. Actually, it can be converted into sunbathing area. Uh, so once the table goes down, this filler cushion actually is designed to go on top of the table and that becomes an entire sunbathing area. Of course, by closing this bimini top, which is uh, hydraulic operated. So table and bimini top are both controlled from this beautiful uh, push button switching control and the bimini top in, uh, in, with, with the press of a button folds completely actually forward 
by disconnecting just those two pins and uh, folding it down. So it can be, again, a very nicely shaded area as we have it today, and, uh, or a full sun uh, area. So crew quarter and engine room access, extremely uh, comfortable on the side walking. And uh, you go down, again, this is a technical stairs, but as the angle is very gentle. You go down this ladder, and uh, this is where the uh, crew, so the technical part of the boat is uh, handled and managed and uh, is very conveniently located because you have uh, the two cabins in the head, so they have a full head and two cabins, but also access to uh, these, uh, uh, these, um, these uh, beautiful engine room where all the technical equipment is. So you have, uh, you know, your triple IPS, 1350 horsepower each, sea keeper stabilization, two sets of uh, generator, Onan, so Cummins, American made, and uh, every system, this is your air conditioning system, uh, generator exhaust, so every system is here, so the crew from the side and from the cabin can access uh, the engine room uh, very conveniently. This, of course, uh, uh, if you were wondering what is invasive boxes, this is the garage. So in order to have a tender, and we're talking about a four meter tender, so it's uh, 13 feet, 13 feet uh, tender, as well as a 2.6 meters, so a nine feet uh, jet ski in the garage. Uh, this is the, the box which holds them. Cover and beautiful, so you don't have toys hanging from the transom or uh, compromising the beauty and the line of the boat that they are protected from the environment in the garage as well as uh, preserving the look of the boat and the aesthetic of the design. So we talk uh, uh, a lot about this garage so I think is a great opportunity here to show it to you and of course is an hydraulic uh, operated mechanism and please uh, I really appreciate the speed and the quietness of the movement. I'll stop it right here, we can open it all, but that gives you a, a very good idea. Four meter tender, 2.6 meter jet ski, protected from the environment and off the way without compromising the beauty of the line of uh, Alberto Mancini design and uh, this beautiful Azimut Yacht S8. So let me close it for you. And uh, so the closing again, hydraulic mechanism, it's incredible how those systems have evolved. I'm uh, in the industry now 26 years and I remember the first garage is the first crane. The amount of noise they were producing right now, you have uh, an incredible huge platform which also become opening, uh, swiveling this way, this becomes also a beach platform. So once it's fully open, you can put chaise long in there and lounge. But the speed and quietness of the moving mechanism now nowadays is really uh, incredible. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick tour of the brand new Azimut S8. Thank you for watching and have a beautiful day.